Hello again out there all you YouTubers. Uh, this is my Aquamarine Aquarium. Uh, it's another update. Um, as you can see, down in the corner, oh, I can't, here we go. My anemone is still down there. Unfortunately, I've not managed to get any colour back on him. But he has split. And if I show you over here, down in the corner over there, if I zoom in a bit. No, it won't let me zoom in. Oh, there we go. Oh. There's the other half of the anemone. I mean, they've both completely healed up now. Both feeding. Um, as you can see down here back in the corner. Clownfish is still hosting this particular piece. I mean, it, it, it shrunk quite dramatically. But um, they're slowly getting their size back. There you go, if I zoom in there, clownfish just won't leave it alone, zoom back out, as you can see there's quite a lot of change in the tank, there is there in the middle a torch which is doing pretty well, at the moment it is slightly closed up a couple of the heads, I mean there's like five or six heads there, one of them slightly closed up. But I think it's just in the process of um, releasing some of its waste. I mean, it does that now and again. But it seems to perk straight back up. It's thriving in there at the moment. And if I go across, you can see the Xenas. They're spreading my uh, feather duster. Loves it where it is now. And then just above it, I've got my Kenyan coral tree, which... It's blossomed. I bought it, it, it weren't this large. It's just gone stupid in the past month or so. And as you can see, all over the tank, I'm getting quite a lot of coralline algae growth, which is pretty cool. Um, since the last video, I've gone out and purchased a new set of lights which I will be doing a unopening of the box when it arrives in the next few days I'm hoping to get some SPS corals in there you know as you can see it's all kind of thriving but I am losing some colour on some corals I mean there in the middle there there's my um, frog spawn and it's just gone white it had a nice tinge of purple to it, I mean it was nice and tanned and stuff and well it's just gone really pale and bleached and I'm just kind of hoping it's because the lights that I've got in the tank at the moment are starting to lose their spectrum well I know they're losing their spectrum, I mean, I've got a stupid amount of algae growth in the back there so it's time for an upgrade particular LEDs that I bought are um, Cree XPEs they do come customised but I've gone with a uh, 90 degree angle on the lens and uh, there is a 64 3 watt LEDs on the system and it should fit straight above the top of the tank with brackets so and there you go as you can see everything in there is doing pretty well I mean, I've got a little bit of coral, uh, sorry, bit of red slime algae there on one of my corals, but my uh, little clown goby's been munching away at the coral, so I'm not overly fussed because as soon as that coral's gone, I'll get rid of the piece that's, that's got all that um, red slime algae and just take it straight out of the tank. And not buy that particular coral again because that little goby seems to just munch it. Unfortunately, my uh, fluorescent yellow Z uh, zoas even are not opening up at the moment, and there's a little bit of red slime algae on it. I'm a bit confused on to why they're not opening up. Everything else in the tank seems to be doing absolutely fine. I mean, you can see the green star polyps in the corner there, they're spreading along that rock. Oh, and another thing that's happened in the tank I have had another bubble tip anemone. 
as you can see there's two of them right there in the middle just the other day they they literally split it's quite quite random if anybody out there can tell me what the reason for them to split would be that would be fantastic I'd really appreciate that and uh, well I shall leave you on that shell really and there we go the last view of the tank And there we go. Thank you very much.